I cleaned up all of Noelle's dog poo outside this morning. Yay! <laughs> So, mm. what'd you get? You'll see. You'll see. Blake got an exciting package in the mail. Oh, and Noelle's like, I am so ready for this after you're done opening it. <laughs> I'm gonna have one of these in forever. Oh, I know, boxes, oh my gosh. Oh, it's a box within a box. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's a box within a box within a box. <laughs> oh my God, that dog. And the cat's watching like, oh my God. Whoa, actually it looks really similar to the one you have now. Kind of does, yeah. Is it? Oh. So satisfying, I love mechanical keyboards. The one I have is a stealth version, so the clickies aren't as... Aren't as loud? Your clickies yeah. on your keyboard are I know, freaking pretty loud. loud. I know. What's the opposite of a mechanical keyboard? I think they're called membrane. Membrane keyboards? Regular. So what makes a mechanical keyboard a mechanical keyboard? It's the clickies. It's the clickies. Well, listen, I mean, listen, it's... guys, listen. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. I love keyboards that go click, click, click oh. as loud as they can. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was in, uh... I was in Iceland in my hostel, and I was in the top bunk, and my friend Catherine was in the bottom bunk, and I was working, and she sent me a Snapchat of. Like, it was just black, but it was just me typing, like she could hear me yeah. typing super loud, and she's like, what is going on yeah. up there? I'm a furious typer, I guess. You didn't finish tearing up your box, what happened? She wants the second box. Hello everybody, what did we just see? Spectre. Spectre, we just got out of the movies. That was the first movie we have seen in a really, really long time, and we saw the new James Bond movie. What did you think? That was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. It was, it's, it's a very, standard Bond. it's a standard Bond movie. Yeah, it was very, I, we were, we were talking about it. Skyfall. We, we liked a lot better. Yeah, 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 for sure. It was like, it was good. It was, I was entertained, oh, yeah, like but that. it's like, it's a Bond movie. I enjoyed the, um, the, the music in the first scene, the drum. Oh yeah, yeah. I really that liked cool. that. I like that dude, okay, I'm dude. not actually gonna go into it too much because if you want to see it, you should. It was very cliche, but it's a Bond movie. You know, it's a James Bond movie. So it's kind of like, can't really ask for much. The sun is going to set in like 20 minutes. We saw the 110 showing and it, <laughs> I mean, now it's like almost four. Yeah, it's 406 right now. And so it's just crazy how low the sun is on the horizon this time of year. So um, anyway, we're gonna go to Target to pick up a couple things and then kind of just chill for the rest of the evening. I smelled that barbecue when we were walking back to our car and now I could totally go for barbecue for dinner if you wanted. Does that sound yeah. decent or no? Yeah. Eh. I was thinking, just barbecue in general, when somebody says, oh, I'm going to have, you know, German food, oh, I'm gonna have Italian food or Indian food, I was thinking what that would be for America, like American food. I think barbecue's up there. Barbecue's a oh, very yeah. American thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, American is a fusion of all other types of food. But think about something that is very much American. Like we got the hamburger from like German. Like yeah. that's German food really. You could do hamburgers anywhere. Pretty much everywhere you go are gonna have the capability of making a really good burger. I had the best burger in Bar Barcelona. Barcelona had the most amazing hamburger. You know what another? very much American, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but like a very delicious American food is like Tex-Mex. Like Mexican food yeah. that you can get in America that's well done, 
I haven't had, like when I was traveling in Europe, nobody did Mexican food. And I came home from Europe and I was like, I need, yeah. I need some guacamole and I need some like, some Mexican food in my life, like right now. And that's something that I, I feel like a lot of countries don't, can't do as well. But barbecue's up there too. I think barbecue's a very American food. Hi kitty. Oh boy. Just had her harness on all day. I know, that's because she keeps wanting to go outside. They took her out this morning. How'd she do? She's good. She just walked around and smelled stuff and and she kept like rolling over. I know, she's probably needs a bath. Yeah, they clean themselves. I know, but she kinda smells like a horse. No, that's the dog. The dog smells like a horse too. Need Everybody needs a bath. I need a bath. Sorry about my hot mess of a face today. But check out what I have to deal with. Ooh, look at all of that laundry. Today is laundry day. It's actually almost bedtime. We haven't vlogged at all today. That is because somebody got a new keyboard and has been putting it quite to use today, huh? Mm -hmm. How is it? Good, I like it a lot. Like it a lot? Yeah. Is it a vast improvement or not really? Or is it just different? I, I like that it's like a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter too. I like the keys. Yeah, I like the red. Yeah, me too. It's gonna a look good really color. nice with everything else. I bet. Everything, so everything's gonna be black and red. You have it planned. Yeah, I do have a plan. It's gonna have a theme. It's gonna have a, does it have a name too? Not yet. <laughs> Not it yet. Will. There's will. still time for that. And I have been working in After Effects all day. I was trying to learn how to do a specific thing. Excuse me, those are all clean. Yeah, so I spent pretty much all day long trying to work in After Effects today. And After Effects is, I wouldn't say it's a difficult program to really do. It's just extremely in depth and it's very like advanced, I guess. I had a very specific thing I wanted to do, a specific look I wanted a, spe a scene to have. And it took so long to figure out how to do that. I was doing that all day long for a 15 second clip. <laughs> I'm glad I did it though, cause I learned a lot and that's kind of like the best way I have found to learn a new program. Everybody on YouTube, not everybody, but like there's tons of tutorials online on YouTube for learning how to do certain things in various programs. It's a great learning tool. Today I was just learning how to do Crap in After Effects. Look at all of these clothes you're gonna get all dirty. How's that harness treating you, huh? It has a little loop on the back so you can hook a leash into it. Careful, you almost fell off the bed. She seems to be annoyed with it right now, but she has totally ignored it all day long, so. And how you doing, Noelle? How you doing? <laughs> we just watched Friends. I'm so sad, we're almost done. Anyway, now I need to hardcore fold a ton of laundry. It's a disaster. But at least all of this is clean. We were desperately overdue for doing laundry. So I'm glad to get this all done. And um, uh, the sheets are downstairs too. There is nothing better than sleeping in freshly cleaned sheets. And I'm excited because I'm gonna fold all this laundry and then I'm gonna take like a long hot shower and I'm gonna scrub the crap out of my skin and like hardcore wash everything and get out and moisturize everything and then like crawl into bed. It's gonna be so nice. I'm so excited. Good morning, everybody. Let's see. <gasps> I see kitty eating breakfast. I see a dog who's wondering what's going on. Last night, not only did I fold all of the laundry and we must have done like something ridiculous, like, like four or five loads of laundry. It was really bad. And I disinfected and cleaned the entire kitchen except for the bar. That's like your territory. You keep putting stuff up there. Yeah, I'm out of heaven. <laughs> and look at these sad pumpkins that we still have that never got carved. It's like a fall thing though. I feel like we can have them out until like Thanksgiving and then we need to figure out how to get rid of them. Yeah, but like I, I took some bleach out and I like really disinfected the countertops and everything. I think it needs it like definitely once every so often. Should be something more often than that. Like, I feel like you should disinfect your kitchen like once every week or two, but I don't know. I hadn't done it in a while. I always wipe down the counters, but I never disinfect them. And it felt really good to do that. I cleaned up all of Noelle's dog poo outside this morning. Yay. <laughs> and the cat came she out. She did. She went out with me. And I think that's why she's crying right now. Cause she's like, I want to go back out. Did she just stay with you or she just melt stuff? 
No, she just smelled stuff. She went over by the rock formation mm -hmm. thing and just kind of tried to get the flies and stuff or yeah, whatever were. Yeah, yeah, and so, I don't know, I, I feel bad because eventually she's going to want to explore farther than our little tiny, tiny backyard. And I'm... I don't want that to happen because I don't I don't want her to go away. I just don't want to let her go. And she's so big. She's getting so big. We should stop feeding her. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I don't know. Do any of you guys have like a hybrid indoor outdoor cat? And how did you deal with the transition or like help that out? Because I don't know what to do. Like do you just kind of like let them go outside and hope they come back? <laughs> you just want to find another family for free food and snuggles? Anyway, it's coffee time. Hello and good afternoon! It is 3.30 in the afternoon, which means this vlog is quite late. We had kind of a crazy day at work today, and so I was just extremely busy for most of the day. So I think it's time to end the vlog. For today's question of the day, I want to know... We talked about like cultural foods at like sort of the beginning of this vlog. And I want to know, like if you're from another, another country, not from the United States, but from another country, or you have family or friends, or even your heritage is very closely tied to another culture, what is a cultural staple food-wise in your culture? What is a food that is always prevalent in your culture because I love different cultures foods. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world. I love to just eat all kinds of different food. And side note, if you guys have any advice on the cat situation, that would be awesome. Because right now we have a, a cat that's an indoor cat that very desperately wants to become an outdoor cat. And I'm, I'm sad about it because I don't want her to be an outdoor cat and not come back. <laughs> right now we have her little like kitty harness. Look at how little this thing is. It's so cute. Um, and we'll take her out on a leash like when we when we go out with Noelle too. And she'll just walk around and she'll sniff everything. Um, but that's kind of the extent of it right now. And I think she definitely wants more than that. So anyway. Oh, and one more thing. I have a video going live on my lifestyle channel either on Tuesday or Thursday this week. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping for Tuesday. I'm hoping for tomorrow because then I can probably have another video go live on Thursday and then you'd literally get a video every single day of the week, except for Saturday and Sunday, which I think is a good plan. But anyway, well, we're gonna, eh, I'm just going overboard. I'm just thinking out loud. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm gonna go on a run right now because I need to burn off energy right now and get off my butt because I feel like I've been sitting way too long today. It's the worst feeling ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually at nine o'clock in the morning Pacific time. Hasn't been lately. Need to get back on that. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you on Wednesday. Bye. My good morning mug, which is kind of ironic because, well, it's not morning. I am just sitting down to work a little bit more and